sana pakuna miungunta amini sitajiti ya unaji si chakula cha ufalme na sita usauri tiwa oko anasaza kisasa Waweza Waweza kumipunya Hata usiponiponya Sita abudu masanamu Naelewa Matina moto nitapita Kwenye uguri wa mauti Nina wewe Sita ogo pakamwe Kimandole was born in 1935. She was the daughter to the late Moto Moniki and Tabitha Ndupu Moto. 52, when she sat for a standard 5 examination, the highest level in primary school then. She lived a devoted and prayerful Christian who supported all church activities. Mary met the love of her life, Ezekiel Kimondole Mbusa, in 1953. They got married and were blessed with eight children. Thomas Mbusa, the late Mark Mutuko, Josephine Mweni, Joseph Mutiso, the late Willie Mutonga, Joyce Nduko, Eunice Mbithe, and Salome Ndonge. She has left behind 23 grandchildren and her great-grandchildren, Kelvin, Charlene, Jamin, Gianna, Aiden, among others. She was a prayerful, generous, kind, humorous, and peacemaker. She loved anyone she met and wished well. She was also a strict discipline, disciplinarian, which she did with a lot of love. The illness, the late Mary Kaleche lived a healthy life until 23rd November 2023, when she experienced stomach pains and vomiting. She was rushed to Kiva Health Center for treatment. The pain persisted and on Saturday 25th, she was taken to Dr. Minor Clinic, Thika, where the doctor recommended for immediate admission. She was then admitted at the Mary Help of the Sick Mission Hospital, where treatment started. She showed great improvement. On Sunday 26, she woke up well, said her morning prayer, and all seemed to be okay until around 3 p.m. when she started vomiting. Her condition worsened in the evening and she was rushed to the emergency ward. She took her last breath at around 9 p.m surrounded by her daughters, Joyce, Eunice, and Salome. Thank you. Lord gave us, my Lord gave us 70, 70 years of love, care, true friendship, sacrifice, and resilience. You were my rock. You supported me in everything I did. My number one cheerleader. From, from you, I learned so many things about life. You made us feel comfortable under all situations protected us from everything that was likely to hurt us. We faced it all on our behalf. I feel like with a flower in the desert. My heart is broken. My candle blown, but from, for you, my love, I will continue taking care of our children. Come on, someone you know. The first thing is a low and then she laughs. And so, we will My brother and the condo now the car. What is it? What is Our mom was an outstanding mother. She always wanted to find out how our families were doing. Mom always cautioned and especially when arguments ensued. 
surely we will miss her dearly. May the Lord rest her in eternal peace till we meet her again. Amen. With my soul. say goodbye. No one was and will be like you, man. You have been our inspiration and true hero. Our anchor, we learned on you during tough times and you proved to be a rock that never let us down. We couldn't make you stay because our Lord loved you more and called you to be a better place. Your golden heart stopped beating when we were holding you. You are now a loving soul at rest. We trust you will always watch over us. It is hard to imagine life without you, man. We will miss you dreadfully. We will hold on to the memories we made forever. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a chance to have the last conversation with you where you told us to take care of our dad, siblings, our families, and also told us to live in peace and unity. We can spend an entire day tributing you, man, so with broken hearts, we choose to say goodbye. Till we meet again, we will be forever loving man. Come and answer, mommy. When sorrows like sea. Na kagonya, ni kagabu tineta. Na kute diawea. Muno muno wa mundani. Kuta namba iwa diabina. No na tuwe diaeliu. Akanenga ne nundo kubu tu kune gala kwenye nanda. Our our true tributes are actually printed in our hearts. However, we must write a few words to summarize our thoughts and feelings as your sons-in-law. You are a symbol of love and laughter. You not only loved us, but also extended affection to our individual parents and siblings. Mom, you are also a kind and generous soul. As we say goodbye to you, we hope to emulate your godly character. We specifically pray that God helps us to become your life students by taking keen interest in the family's welfare, a thing you always encourage us to do. Fare thee well, mother. We loved you, but God loved you more. Your sons, you know, come out, Aaron, Mono. Thank you very much. We came into your family at different times and you welcomed us as your daughters. We were nervous, but you and, your, and our dad made us feel right at home from the first day we met you. You welcomed us with open arms, and that we will never forget you were a great mother-in-law. You stand out above the rest. We thank God for blessing us with you. We will uphold in the family virtues we learned from you. Daughters in law tribute. Rabbi Ami Sangu, pamoja na familia yangu, mungu wa wabariki, na edirebu atenda mema, asanteni. Waweza, waweza kumi punya.
This world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me.